Before calibrating, review and complete each one of the three instructional videos shown on the screen as they are prerequisites before calibrating any axis on the saw. If any part of these three steps is not accurate before you calibrate the length, angle, and center line, then the calibration will not work. Calibrating the center lines on a Cyber AT saw. Grab a straight 2x4 board 10 foot in length. Go to the semi-auto screen, touch the All Home button, then initiate setup. This will position all the saw blades to 90 degrees. The center line on saw blades 1 through 4 to a display reading of 112, which is 1 inch and 12 sixteenths. The center lines on saw blades 5 and or 6 display reading will be 100, which is 1 inch. This example is for saw blades 2 and 3, but the process is the same for all the blades. On the semi-auto screen, touch the saw blade 2 angle icon and a keypad will appear. On the keypad, enter an angle such as 45 degrees. The number to enter for 45 degrees is 450. Touch OK. Use the same process for saw blade 3. Touch the carriage icon and on that keypad enter 091000 for 9 feet 10 inches. Touch Initiate Setup. Touch Main Menu, then Manual. On the Manual screen, touch Start 2 and 3. Jog the conveyor forward until the saw blades have cut all the way through the board. Reverse jog the conveyor, backing the board out of the saw. Place one side of a framing square across the bottom of the board, not the top. You calibrate the center lines off the bottom of the board only. On the opposite side of the framing square, look at the measurement on the square where the bottom of the angle cut meets the square. Whatever that measurement is, that is what you calibrate the center line to. Touch Main Menu, then Calibrate. For example, if that measurement on the square for saw blade 2 was 1.5 inches, then you calibrate saw blade 2 to that measurement. On the axis calibration screen, touch saw blade 2 and that axis calibration menu will appear. Touch the set button for the center line and a keypad will appear. The center lines on the saw need to be entered using a four digit numbering system. The first number to enter in on the center line keypad in this example is 1, which represents the 1 inch. If at any time that measurement is less, than 1 inch, then the first number will be 0. The next three numbers to enter on the keypad will be the decimal equivalent for the fraction measurement showing on the framing square, where the bottom of the angle cut meets the square, measured from the bottom of the board, not the top. In this example, that fraction is 1 half of an inch. There is a fraction to decimal equivalent chart on the upper part of the saw frame to use to convert the fraction to decimal. The three decimal numbers that represent one half of an inch is 500. So the four numbers that need to be entered on the keypad for saw blade 2 centerline example is 1500. Touch OK. You do not need to enter a decimal point. Understand that the decimal equivalent number for a fraction only needs to be entered on a keypad for the numeric calibration purposes. The calibration display for saw blade 2 centerline will display 1.500, but the screens for operational use, such as the manual screen, semi-auto screen and automatic screen use the inch sixteenth method. So it will display 1.08 for the 1 and 8 sixteenths inches.